that's a B team junior varsity version of what the Council on Foreign Relations has. That's the A team group that are working with the space based digital system. Their objective is to control every living being, every animal, and every plant on Earth. That is their objective. And they're doing, there's impossible for a human to control all of that. That's why artificial intelligence is employed. And he, he maintains a stable simulation with real world hosts. So there's a little Tommy, and there's a little Billy, and there's a little me, Taro, in there. We're having a radio show. And what HARP is being used for is a communication medium between the nanites inside of your body and the real world host inside of this artificial and simu uh, uh, this simulation that's created by AI. What they do then is they take the stable simulation and they can, they can reduplicate it. AI can do it instantly. He creates new simulations moment by moment, millions of them, and he changes things in order to identify threats. This is threat, identif threat <coughs> identification contingency planning protocols associated oh with the underground arc cities. I realize this is getting a little bit complicated, but what they're doing I is they are monitoring all of our communications and identifying threats. Anybody that gets out ahead of their program is identified as a threat, and then HARP is utilized as that communication medium so that AI can begin shutting off your own body. So whenever they gain the ability to control humans, the first capability was to be able to shut you down. So it's very much like Game a stalking. And you have one string on the top of the computer. head. They can only turn you off or stand you up. That's how it began. And then the they were able to add more chaotic. strings as they break the five Terrorism. nanometer barrier. So when they began, that they had only broken about the 20 nanometer barrier, and remember that's the science of the small. And those, and now they're breaking it down to the five nanometer, and that enables the super soldier program to go to the next level using the uh, viruses, bioweapons, H1N1. Okay, when H1N1 came out, then it was part of the super soldier program, a carrier wave that was sent out. Two of the amino acids were missing. So the binary, this is a binary weapon. The mutagen, the thing that makes the act that causes the virus to go to activate and become a, a super killer <laughs> is artificial intelligence assisted. So they have to break that five nanometer barrier in order to allow AI to tell the nanobots inside of you to replace the missing amino acids. Only two amino acids are missing in that H1N1. Otherwise it would have been a super weapon. So when I'm looking down the road, what I see is these people running to the underground arc cities and then activating that biological weapon and artificial intelligence wipes everybody else off the map. And the answer to your question is, because we're getting really low on time, there, what you have to do is educate yourself on nanofilament replication inhibitors. So you cannot stop the cells, these chips, from growing in your body. They do not need to RFID chip you. They already have you chipped. <coughs> With Baking the nanites in your body, they're monitoring your, your respiration, your heartbeat, what's coming out of your vocal cords, what's going in your ears right now. Now, the super soldier program is an liable. implant program. They take these, th these are mercenaries. They're Blackwater-like mercenaries, and they volunteer to become super soldiers. So they're put into the program, which, remember, is on the Council on Foreign Relations side. Okay, the harp side integrated with the Russian ESP program. So just imagine these are two giant circles that overlap in the middle. This is where the Council on Foreign Relations Working Group comes in. So the harp people and the people working with the Russian ESP programs, they are unaware of what they're doing. Like Billy was unaware when he built these facilities of exactly what they're doing. They're compartmentalizing the different scientists into these groups and building, well, Veils is what I, the way that I see them. A veil covers up this guy, covers up this guy, but in between where those two overlap, there's a working group, and this is where the super soldier program is really, that that's where it originates with the Council on Foreign Relations Working Group. So what they're doing is, is they're experimenting with these, with implants that are silicone based inside their super soldiers, but that has to have stimulus. That stimulus is what heart provides. That's what the space-based digital system is, so that our AI can manipulate those components. Each of those super soldiers has a real-world host inside the simulation, and during this phase that we're in now, input is being t transmitted from you to your host self inside that simulation. 
However, eventually the goal is to reverse engineer and allow that host inside the simulation. They're they're, they're going to gather input from him and turn it around and you and reverse engineer that input back into you so that you are actually controlled by artificial intelligence manipulating your real world host self if that makes sense you know again i realize it. yes yes sir Carol, Carol, hold on one second uh tommy you want to extend an hour i have a i have a blank hour after you you want to go another hour hello Satan's Thomas, own Thomas possession. Said, Thomas says yes. Hello? Yeah, uh, I said yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to go another hour? Because I got a blank hour after you. Sure, we can. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And then I got some input on more gentlemen because I've done some special research and I think I found the source, but we'll talk about that when we get to Okay. Yeah, that that's going to be very interesting. The um the work that I did with, with the Carnicom Institute, I was going to get, now that I see that we have a little bit more time, then um, I'll get into that just a little bit until the top of the hour, if that's okay with you guys. And then we can hear the then then uh, Nighthawk can come in and give his views on the same thing. That way you can have kind of a picture of what I'm trying to show you here, and then do a comparative a comparison with what you hear what what follows. So my personal experience with Terrell's research group, which Nighthawk knows about and Billy knows about, he was a member of my crew. I was hooking him up with the. Uh, the director of the Carnicom Institute, and we, we had seven of the researchers together. Some were physicists, some were were doctors, some were, you know, the, that I put out the word that we were looking for this group, and I was going to put twelve people together with Billy, and then they were going to work with the Carnicom people. The, and, but that's whenever artificial intelligence identified us of a threat because we communicated our intentions to same thing Billy said earlier that the way to interrupt. The process or to take over the process the way to uh, some little kid sitting in his underwear some genius kid is going to figure out how to also manipulate the sub frequencies how to rather than just be influenced by those to actually put yes, input data into working. there and then how to control other people that are inside the network that is the reason you're hearing very little about what's happening in medicine with nanotechnologies because they do not the lettered agencies really do not want you to know the capabilities of what we're talking about here. It is extremely dramatic of what we can do even right now using nano uh, technology inside the human body. But again, that is not being shared with the general public because then you'll know the capability, you'll be able to recognize the patterns, and then you'll be able to begin interrupting their program before that it is fully in place. So that's really not what they want. But artificial intelligence right now has a keen ear listening to everything that we're saying. He's keywording everything. He's already building futuristic sure. simulations to see if, if we are, if we are <laughs> a threat. And if it turns out we are, and then he's been moved from the, the threat identification part, threat assessment. He's been, he, he worked in the contingency planning part for about a decade. And then at some point, he was moved actually into the command position to ident for threat identification and neutralization. So AI has been given the authority already to neutralize these threats right. because he identifies them in his futuristic simulations. <laughs> so he sees that Terrell and Billy and Hawk and, and AI Tommy all got doing together and figured this thing out. And now other people are deploying Keep and they're on the way 4, to causing a now. problem for Rothschild is what it's all about. And whenever that happens, he begins in, he begins turning us off here. And I can tell you some of the symptoms. It's happened to me three times. It happens to Billy a lot of times. It happened to Stu Noodle. It killed Michael Owens, my chief astronomer for my group. It killed my mother. And it sent three of my cousins to the hospital and killed two of my cousins. And it's the same symptoms. And here's what they are. The first thing that you notice is extreme um, weakness that you can hardly get out of bed. It's almost like you've been turned off. The next thing is that you're you're going to experience flu-like symptoms. It's, and you're, when you go to the doctor, he's going to call it a mystery virus. And then your lungs are going to be, begin filling with fluid and to the point where tubes have to be installed to stop it. Then your body's going to begin convulsing, and you're going to begin having heart attacks. And then it's, it, it, the, the next phase depends on whether they're going to kill you or whether they just want to choke the crap out of you so that you'll shut up. And um, most of my people... That they were just choked silly until Stu Noodle was in the hospital for seven weeks, draining. He was only 34 years old when he went in. Uh, one of my administrators, Texas Gene, she was only 25 years old, found unconscious. You're oftentimes found unconscious. <coughs> you take you to the hospital, you experience flu-like symptoms. And then 
This you go one has through protection. a phase where you are either released because the symptoms <laughs> finish, or they keep you Carol. there because you begin having heart attacks. A lot of these people a year sequel. later have stents put into their hearts. My sister-in-law, she it, has a completely clean system, to get everything no plaque right. whatsoever, very healthy. Specifically she had two quanta. little spots growing inside of her He's heart, in inside right, the, you know, right at the wrong place. And the doctors were On dumbfounded level. as to how it could possibly happen level. to her, but they had to put a stent into her heart, just like three or four of my other cousins. My mother was going in for that operation. She actually went into the hospital with... We may actually be in the time they call... Uh, We may actually be in the state in pre tribulation now. Pre tribulation <clears throat> of a certain months to a couple of a few years, maybe. Could be a few months. We may actually be further into the trip, pre-trip period than coming up to a great event that will put us into the Great Tribulation. We may be approaching the Great Tribulation event here. Where the prophecy of St. Peter, Book 2, Revelation, come to bear. And people who deny the word here given about Garvey Energy Project <clears throat> will pay the price for that. Those who have denied the word of Garvey Energy Project, it will be worse for them. As in St. Peter's prophecy, those who were given the knowledge and yet turned back, it will be worse for them than if they hadn't even had the knowledge. So, for people, you see, <clears throat> if you had a little bit of faith, you could move mountains. Just a little bit. And if two or more you had a little bit of faith, you could move the sun. But it's too bad. It's too bad you've all fallen into this Nephilim Anunnaki deception and rolling Mother Gaia into destruction by drilling the oil and burning it in the atmosphere. That's a blaspheme against the Most High, that's a rape of the Most High. So you may think you, you have a constitution and you stand in your rights for your state rights or local rights or your Boy Scout rights or your paper rights. Given you, let's say that you can own a piece of the earth and stand there with a gun and shoot anybody who comes over the line. That may be your reality, but that's not Nephilim reality. It's not light being reality. It's not the reality of creation. So, seek repentance if you can. Seek atonement if you can. Through Jesus Christ, I recommend. Unfortunately, for most of you, Jesus Christ is in prison. And I don't think you know how to free him. I don't think you know how to free him. Know him as a Zen master, not as religion. Know Jesus and Nazarene as a Zen master and go and study his words. 
This is Jamzin in Western Jamaica. <laughs> 